Hi everyone. Welcome back to our Power Teacher Pro series for high school teachers. Today we are going to look at how to set up our categories and attribute them to select classes. When working with categories, it's important to remember that this is one of the few places in Power Teacher Pro where you can have your class up here in a section selector and it doesn't necessarily apply to everything here that you'll see down here in the screen. This part of the screen, these categories show us every single category for every single course that you teach. It doesn't matter if I take this and switch to a different class, you see the categories here stay exactly the same. So when it comes to creating categories and assigning them to different classes, it's important that you know which categories you'd like to use before you even get to this point. That means that you need to have your assessment plan ready to go and ideally your course outline ready to go. So this teacher knows that for social studies 20-1 and 30-1, she is going to use the categories coursework, written assignment one, written assignment two, exams and tests, and final exam. If this teacher wanted to create one more category, this is how she'd do it. First, she'd come to create, click category, type in a category name, choose the classes to which she'd like to attribute this particular category. And you'll notice that the class I've just assigned it to shows up right here. So always check here to make sure you didn't choose the wrong ones. You can choose a color. If we're using it this semester, then we're gonna keep it active. If we don't want to use it this semester, then we can make it inactive. It doesn't make it uh, delete, but it does uh, hide it. Then in the description, I can type what this category is all about. Now, I might not want to use this all the time, but for written assignments, let's say, if I'm going to use the same rubric for every single written assignment that's going into this category, I may choose to either copy and paste the rubric right in here, or I can use a link to that particular rubric wherever it is that I have it online. So once I've got my description in there, I click Save, and it appears on my list. If I decide later this is not a category I ever want to use at all, and I've never used this category on an assignment, I can click Delete and then Confirm Delete. If I find that when I want to delete a category, I get an error message like this, it's because I have used this before on an assignment. We can't ever delete categories that we've actually used before. But if I don't want to see it anymore, I can come here, click an active, click save, and now that category is hidden. If I ever want to see it again, I click show inactive and every single category that's ever existed in my gradebook will show up right here. I just want to call your attention here uh, to the fact that we have some duplicate categories here. You'll notice that for Social Studies 20-1 and 30-1, we have a written assignment 1 and a written assignment 2. We've got exams and tests, and we've got coursework. But then we look down a little further, and we see that there's also coursework, but specifically for 30-2, exams and tests for 30-2, etc. This is a lot of extra work for the teacher that this teacher didn't really have to do. And, you know, in our old grade books, sometimes this worked better. But with Power Teacher Pro, this really isn't an issue anymore. So in order to make this a lot more efficient for ourselves, we are going to make sure that coursework is attributed to the 20-1, the 30-1, and the 30-2 by coming up to edit, dropping down this menu, and selecting all the classes that will have a coursework category. Then we hit save, 
And we'll see here, if I click more, it shows us all the classes that we want coursework to have. Since we don't want to use this one, I can simply make it inactive. All right, so I have went ahead and made sure I attributed these uh, categories to all of my social studies classes and I've inactivated the categories that were redundant, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. But let's do remember that from the purple ones that we had seen before, there was a third written assignment specifically for Social Studies 30-2. I'm gonna make sure I choose my Social Studies 30-2 only, and I'm going to call it Written Assignment 3. I'm going to give it a unique color that none of the other categories already have and I'm going to press save. And that is it for today, folks. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.